brief how today went? All right, uh, we've had better days. Uh, you know, I think we we two up and down as an offense. Honestly, I, more than anything, I just think our energy levels are two up and down. So um, we got to be more consistent. That's what we talked about. But like I said there's gonna be good things and bad things on tape, just like always. And so uh, you figure it out after we watch tape. That's what Coach Helton decided, I guess. What have you seen from the quarterback, just the growth from when, uh, when you joined here? Well, you know, I, I, like I've always said, I don't think you would ever replace um, experience, you know what I mean? And so just the more reps I get in what we do, the better they'll be at what we do. And so, um, you know, I think they continue to improve, and I think a lot of that's just because, uh, again, they, they've had more reps in this offense than they've ever had. So each day they, they should get better because, uh, again, the, the, they should be more familiar with what they're doing and just have seen it one more time and then continue to execute at a higher level. I think we've run the ball well, to be honest with you. you know, uh, we've had a lot of practices we weren't in the past, and so we probably haven't ran it as often in some practices because of that. Um, but, you know, especially in padded days, uh, I thought we've done a good job running the ball. And, and a lot of it, I think the backs are getting the tough yards, and then, uh, you know, that, that's just what they have to do this time. You know I mean, they got to get the tough yards. And, and so they've bought into that because Jinx has done a great job with them on, on making them buy into that. And uh, But, you know, up front, I think we're doing a nice job getting headed up, creating lanes, and uh, we're, we're, but I've been pretty happy with the way we've ran the ball. Is there any way that might be a step in particular is not just running, but catching the ball? I think Marquise is, is more than anything, he's probably just gaining more and more confidence. And, and when you play with confidence, I think you play better uh, in all aspects of the game. And so I think he's playing with a ton of confidence right now. And, uh, you know, he's just low to take down. And so when, when he gets carries, he, he gets a lot of yards a lot of times, especially after the hit or after after contact, and so um, that that gives him confidence, and he just continues to improve. And uh, so, so I've been happy with what we've seen from Marquise uh, with with you know Vi getting limited reps. Uh, he's been able to get a lot more reps, and it's been really good for him. And so uh, it's been fun to watch and fun to fun to fun to see him improve. Are, are you surprised at how well the deep ball? Is, I mean, a deep ball accuracy, if everybody's throwing it, it looks like everybody's catching it. Is that? Well, just, when you're throwing those guys, it's not real hard, right? Okay. So, <laughs> so you, uh, we saw a lot of, uh, we didn't catch a lot of less. Uh, so, no, you know, I think that those guys, uh, you know, we got a really talented group of receivers, and so uh, that that helps the, that helps your job as a quarterback when you got when you got monsters out there running down the field. Uh, it makes it easy to throw it to them uh, because one, you trust them to catch it, and two, even if you don't throw a perfect ball, a lot of times the ball comes down. Uh, you know, they come down with the football, so so that helps the calls. Uh, but that's also something we've tried to commit to quite a bit. You know, and, and something that we think we have a chance to be pretty good at. And if but if you're gonna be good at, it, you got to work on it. So. Um, we've tried to emphasize throwing the, throwing the ball down the field some in practice just to get live reps at it. Uh, and like I said, if, if you're hitting it at the rate we're hitting it, you should probably do it every play, right? You, <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, you know, that's what Coach Leach always said. If you complete vertical routes 30% of the time, you should throw them every time because you'll, you'll never get stopped. But, um, again, I've been pretty happy. It's, um, it's something we've really tried to work on a lot this fall, and uh, I think we're seeing dividends of it. Is Veal is showing you something that I mean, he's showing us something, but I'm just saying for you. Vez is improving, you know. I mean, I think I think he's doing some decent things, and, and uh, it would been nice to have him out here this spring. But uh, you know, he he continues to improve too. Maybe at a faster rate than those other guys, just because you know he he had a larger room to improve because he didn't he wasn't here for the spring. And so uh, I think he just gets more comfortable with the offense, and as he gets more comfortable with the offense, uh, he just you stop hesitating, and that's kind of the philosophy of the offense: is eliminate hesitation, make it simple for him, let him go play. And so um, your first couple of days, regardless of how simple you try to make it, guys are going to be thinking and hesitating. He's again now in practice, whatever we're at. So he's getting more confident. He knows what he's doing. So he's he's using his speed. He's a fast player. So um, he, he's not thinking as much. He's just playing fast, and it's making him a better football player. What routes do you feel he executes best? Or he's the best weapon. Uh, you know, I think we use him in a lot of things, especially when you're fast. Obviously, he's caught some deep balls um, because of his speed. So you know, but, but he's the kind of guy that uh, if you can get the ball in his hands. Uh, He's got a chance to be pretty special with it because he, he has a he has a gear that most people don't have. He didn't go to the deep ball much in the spring. That was by design. Did you always know to be a big part of the offense? 
you know, I think you gotta you gotta play your personnel, and we have the personnel to, to kind of throw it down the field early. I think in the spring we're just trying to get introduce them to the offense, and then in the fall, like I said, we try to make it a point of emphasis to get reps and throwing it on the field because we feel like we have guys that are good at going downfield with it. You know what I mean? And so uh, we try we've tried to um, get reps of that, and uh, again, the, the guys are making a lot of plays, and so. If guys are making plays on the deep ball, you're probably more likely to call it. So that's kind of the way that's happened. But um, like I said, in the spring, we're introducing it to them. We knew we have guys that are good going on the field and can run vertical routes. And so if that's the case, you have some chances to make plays. Have you seen more consistency from Devin in the spring today? Devin has been a lot more consistent. And I think he has a better grasp of the offense, and that's probably contributed quite a bit to his, you know, to his, more, to his consistency. What kind of role do you kind of envision for him? Well, we plan on having a, getting a lot of plays and, and uh, using a lot of players. So, you know, I think uh, all those guys will have played a good role. You know, I think they'll be happy with with, uh, with what they get. Going back to the QBs, you get the same experience for the first time. What were your takeaways of the points in the scrimmage? So uh, we, you know, I think as an offense, we did some good things in that scrimmage. But there was a lot to improve on. But um, you know, and they all kind of had ups and downs. But. Uh, for the most part, they're making good decisions, throwing and catching the ball. Like I said, we're throwing and catching the ball well in the run game. They're making good decisions on when to hand it, when to throw it. And, and uh, like I said, with, with the talent we have around them, if they, you know, if, if, if they just do their job, don't try to do too much, they've got a great chance to be successful. Are you guys giving them a sense each week where they stand or where they I know we're just trying to evaluate them and, 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 and like they give them reps and, and let them go work. What do you see from the offensive line on Saturday's scrimmage? I thought we ran the ball really well. Um, you know, we protected well too, but uh, what I'm most excited about is probably the way we ran the football, and, and uh, so they, they did a good job. And, and we've got a we've got an athletic group, big bodies, and, and uh, you know, especially with the kind of like I said with the quarterback, when you're talented at the skill positions. Uh, if you can be good up front, you got a chance to be really special. You know what I'm saying? I think we have a lot of talent at the skill positions, and uh, but but we always preach that everything evolves around those guys. Because if you can't protect, if you're not good up front, it doesn't matter what you have outside of them, you're not going to be as successful. But so those guys have really kind of taken on that they're going to set the tone for the offense, and, and they've done a heck of a job on it. Like I said, we challenged them that you know to me, you're a good run team if you can run the ball. We have to run the ball. And we did a good job of that, and. and they play with good tempo, which is something we stress, and that just helps them. You know, I think it helps them execute at a higher level when they're, because that's kind of a badge of honor for them. We, we're gonna play with tempo, and we're gonna be in better shape than whoever we're playing against. And I think the O-line's really taking that on and done a good job with it, and it's helped them uh, be successful. What do you want to see on, uh, on Saturday? What improvements do you want to see? On just continue to execute. That's our that's the name of our game. You know what I'm saying? Go out there and do your job. Uh, it doesn't matter what position it is, and that's what we always try to preach to them. You don't have to do anything spectacular. Uh, we just got to, you just got to do your job consistently. If you do that, we have the guys. There's going to be some plays that look spectacular uh, because of some of the players that we have on the field. But the most important thing is just make the routine play, and if you do that, you'll be fine. Thank you, coach.